This is the only way to travel, boys. The only way. I was going to bring along the wife and kitties, but the grocer couldn't spare another barrel. Man, I love these guys. I must have seen all their movies at least once. Hmm, I don't know. I've always been more of a Stooges guy myself. Well, looks like you're out of luck then, because the only comedies that are on right now seem to be Marx Brothers. Do you ever think about him? Who, Groucho? What? The oh, the, no. Talking about the clown. The Joker. Who he really is. Well, I guess that really depends, doesn't it? Are you talking, like, his real name or his family history? I don't know. Whatever's not in the computers, really. Whatever Bruce still refuses to tell me. Uh, it's a little bit less that Bruce refuses to tell you and a little bit more that there's just really not all that much to tell, Tim. I mean, shit, I've personally heard that he was a sad, failed comedian just about as many times as I've heard that he's always been a mobster. Great. That sure is comforting. <laughs> yeah, I remember I felt the same way. All anybody really knows for certain is that the thing that scarred him, well, that's the thing that turned him into what he is now. I can tell you this, though. He loves what he does. I have seen him saunter into a room full of people and just stop. Stop, just so we could listen to those first few curious whispers. Just to savor how quickly they turn into screams. It's like candy to him. It's a sip of a rare wine. It's the chorus of a favorite song. It's blood in the water. Exactly. Bruce. His eyes start to dart around the room until they lock with the person who's scared of them the most. That's when his grin widens and he moves forward like a comic going into a routine. And God help the poor soul that he chooses. Some pumpkin pie, and we'll do some caroling. Oh, goody. You woke up in just enough time for Christmas. <laughs>